Tata Chemicals recently launched a range of pulses branded Ai Shakti Dal. Observers feel that this is just the beginning of the foray into edibles by the company which started out as a fertilizer producer and diversified into salt. That's not off the mark. Tata Chemicals Chief Operating Officer Consumer Products Division Ashwini Hiran says we will invest more in Ai Shakti which will serve as our umbrella food brand. The Tata group indeed has strong links with the farmer community which can be leveraged for this. Tata Chemicals has 690 rural outlets called Kisan Sansar in the north and east, Relis, its subsidiary with a range of agrochemical products, has a customer relationship program called Kisan Kutumb. In the south and west, together they touch base with over 5 million farmers across the country. In fact, the group has launched a private-public partnership with the Tamil Nadu for Urad Dal and Punjab for Moong, governments called Grow More Pulses. The shares of India's biggest agrochemical company, United Phosphorus UPL, gained nearly 4.2% last week on news of ChemChina's acquisition of Israel's MAI. The high valuation obtained by the Israeli agrochemical giant raised investor expectations about UPL's valuation on the bourse. China-based ChemChina has proposed to acquire 60% in MAI or MacTishim, again valuing the company at 2.4 billion. This valuation is nearly 43 times the company's 2010 earnings and 23.4 times the estimated earnings for 2011. According to Bloomberg's analyst consensus, MAI is the world's seventh largest agrochemical player with business models similar to that of UPL. Some analysts believe MAI's valuation sets a new benchmark for valuing agrochemical companies of UPL's size. An MK research report said UPL's valuations are at around 40% discount to MAI deal price. We believe this significant valuation gap is likely to reduce in the long run which in our view provides an opportunity to enter the UPL stock at the current price. The Indian commodity market is abuzz with rumors of large-scale holding of Chana stocks. Whether there is any truth to the speculation, such news is capable of creating an artificial supply crunch. And there is already ample indication of such an artificial shortage. The market therefore is looking forward to government intervention, Chana inventory at NCDEX. Warehouses was around 17,261 tons as on December 21. While the present production estimates of Chana are around 7.6 million tons. This has to be seen in light of the fact that the crop area has risen by 15 to 20 percent recently. India's Chana acreage as on January 21 that is early last year stood at 8.68 million 
हेक्टेयर्स अगेंस्ट 8.23 मिलियन हेक्टेयर्स इन द सेम पीरियड अ ईयर अगो अकॉर्डिंग टू कमोडिटी मार्केट एक्सपर्ट्स इंडिया प्रोडक्शन ऑफ पल्सेज विल राइज बाय 2 मिलियन टर्न्स दिस ईयर कंपेयर्ड विद लास्ट ईयर इन इंदौर अ मेजर ट्रेडिंग सेंटर इन मध्य प्रदेश चना फेल रुपीज ट्वेंटी नाइन टू इंड एट रुपीज टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन पर क्विंटल टोटल अराइवल्स ऑफ चना इन डेल्ही वर अराउंड फोर्टी मोटर्स इन द डेल्ही स्पॉट मार्केट चना फेल बाय रुपीज फिफ्टी पॉइंट एट फाइव टू इंड एट रुपीज टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स हंड्रेड पर क्विंटल The government has notified the procedures for the recently allowed export of five lakh tons of sugar. The country's top two producers, Bajaj Hindustan and Balrampur Chini, have together got a quota of more than thirty-three thousand tons. Share price of Balrampur Chini rose three point two four percent. on the nsc while that of bajaj hindustan was up 1% against a 0.38% rise in the nifty the export quota of 5 lakh tons has been prorated among sugar factories by taking into account their 3 years average production the average the government had allowed export of 5 lakh tons of sugar after it become reasonably certain that domestic production for the current sugar year october to september will be in excess of 24.5 million tons against domestic demand of 23 million tons full stop over